Okay, thank you for staying while you're probably uh, hungry now. Um, what I will show uh, today is um, a use case uh, and how we, we started um, uh, VDI in, uh, uh, for, for our students with uh, two, two main components, uh, UDS, which stands for uh, Universal Desktop Services, and uh, in, uh, combined with uh, Open Nebula. Uh, I'm, uh, my name is Frédéric Malangro. I'm the team leader of a, of a team that uh, manages um, uh, the working, working environment of all the users at the university, uh, staff members and students. That means I'm not the, the technical expert, uh, and this is why I put two other names, uh, Philippe and Patrick, which are, who are there and who, who have deployed the, the, the solution. After uh, telling you how, why, why we, we started uh, this project, I will um, um, show how UDS works, uh, what are the main components of the, the, the solution, how they manage uh, the, the VDI and the, the, the virtual machines, uh, in Open Nebula, and uh, how how we are intent to to deploy it and use it at the the university. Uh, why would we started the, this uh, project? Um, well, like all un universities, we are facing the, the the challenge of the new students who who for whom uh, the um, devices are their main main tool and, and working tool. So we had to, to give them um, the opportunity of, to use their, their devices, their computer, uh, to access the standard software we are using uh, in, the, in the lessons, in the, in the research uh, environment. Um, and um, it had to be compatible with Open Nebula because we have uh, for uh, six years now uh, uh, an open nebula infrastructure for all the, the, the servers and the, the data centers. So it had, it had to be compatible uh, with open nebula. We searched for s different solutions and we decided to go uh, for a UDS enterprise connection broker for some reasons because first of all it's open source based and customized, uh, it can be customized, uh, fully customized. Um, and also because the, the team, the UDS enterprise team, was uh, uh, really uh, uh, reacted really quickly when we asked them uh, if they, they were intent to be compatible with Open Nebula. They said, okay, we will do it. And they, they did it quite, quite quickly. So we, 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 had, um, we were confident in, in the response of the, of the team. And it's, it's always, always the, the, the case it's still the case now, uh, they are really uh, responsive. The other reasons we, we decided to go for uh, UDS Enterprise is uh, it, it is flexible. It can be, uh, we will see, it, it is uh, uh, compatible with, with many, many other, other solutions. It's quite low cost and again, uh, the, the reactive support. If you look at the, the um, the commercial page uh, uh, on the site of uh, UDS Enterprise, you can see that it's, it's, uh, um, uh, it can do a lot of things, and it is actually true. It's a multi-platform connection broker. It can uh, deploy Windows and Linux virtual machines. Um, and maybe you can see it, it is uh, compatible with uh, many authenticators. Uh, it it, um, it is compatible with uh, uh, Open Nebula, but also other, other um, solutions uh, like uh, OpenStack and, and, and some other uh, uh, cloud solutions. And one, one of the, the reasons we, we decided to go with uh, UDS is its, its integration with the e-learning the e uh, solutions and uh, specifically Moodle, which is our um, e-learning solution at the University of Louvain. So we 
we have, um, just to, to give you an idea of our uh, Open Nebula infrastructure, we have two, two data centers uh, uh, located at, in two different um, uh, buildings in, in the, on the campus. Uh, we have about uh, 800 ver VMs. Well, I'll let you uh, see the, the, the numbers is here uh, to, to, to see, to have an idea of the, the, the size of the infrastructure. And the storage is uh, based on the Ceph uh, storage. It is now uh, three years we have uh, a Ceph storage. We had before uh, V7000 machines that we replaced and uh, we decided to go, to go for a, a Ceph storage. Okay, this is the Open Nebula infrastructure. Uh, the UDS enterprise uh, solution comes in, in front of the, the, um, the Open Nebula infrastructure. You have three main components in the, um, in the solution, the UDS server, the UDS tunneler, and uh, a MySQL cluster. First of all, the UDS server, which is the front end. Uh, it manages the, the authentication of the, of the users, but it, it also manages the, the virtual machines uh, here in the Open Nebula uh, infrastructure. Uh, and it is connected to the authenticator, which in our case is uh, Active Directory, but it can be uh, other, other authenticators. The second component is the UDS Tunneler, which is a Guacamole server. Uh, it, allows, it allows the connection uh, uh, between the user and directly to the, the virtual machines through uh, HTML5. And then we have uh, a dedicated uh, UDS database, which is a MySQL cluster. Uh, it stores all the information it needs to connect the user with the, the, the machine. So it has some information about the users and some information about the, the, the available uh, VMs. Uh, I will show, show later how, how, it, how it works and how it, uh, how it manages all of this. These three components, the server, the tunneler, and the, the cluster, are uh, supplied uh, as uh, VMs. So it's quite easy to, to, to install. You just have a, a wizard when you start the, the, the machines uh, to configure uh, the, the, the network and, and so on, and, and then it's, it's, uh, it's working uh, quite, quite quickly. So how, how does it work now? Uh, the user authenticates on, the, on a web page. Uh, here the, we have customized the, the, the web page. It, it authenticates. On the, the web page is on the UDS server, and the UDS server checks the, the authentication uh, in the Active Directory and retrieves uh, the, um, the information about the, the user. If the user does not exist in the database, uh, in the, in the uh, MySQL uh, UDS database, it will uh, store it uh, with all the information it needs, uh, <coughs> group membership, uh, <coughs> What, what machines it, it already has used, and so on. If the user already, already exists, it will only synchronize uh, the information from the Active Directory to see if some, some group membership have, have changed and uh, to, to actualize uh, this information. When all this is, uh, uh, is done, the, the UDS server gives the web page with uh, the machines that the user can, can, uh, can access, uh, related to, to his group membership, of course, of course. And then the user can click on the machine. If, if for example, I click on, on the first uh, uh, virtual machine, the... Okay, the, the UDS server uh, knows what machines are uh, available, what, what uh, VMs are available here. 
it will only check if uh, one machine, it, it decides, okay, I will take this machine for the user. It just checks if uh, the machine is up and ready to, to work. And then it gives the information to the user and the UDS tunneler. Uh, the main information going to the UDS tunneler is the, um, the login and password to, to uh, ensure the, the SSO so the, the user does not have to re-log on, on re-authenticate on the, on the VM. And then the connection is uh, made directly through the UDS tunneler uh, to the virtual machine and the UDS server does, doesn't uh, work, uh, doesn't, doesn't do anything more in this process. As I said, <coughs> the, um, the user is automatically signed in in his VM uh, due to the, 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 the SSO uh, ensured by the, the UDS tunneler. Okay, how, how does the, um, the UDS server manage uh, the, the, the VMs. Okay, the, the UDS server, uh, we, we can tell him, uh, okay, I want to, I have a lesson uh, this afternoon with uh, 50 students. I want to, to have 50 machines ready to be used. Uh, so the UDS server uh, takes the template uh, of, of the machine he, he needs. He makes a working copy uh, to intensiate uh, the 50 machines. And it keeps them in cache uh, in, in, the, in the Open Nebula uh, infrastructure. When a, when a student come, comes and uh, authenticates on uh, one of these machines, the UDS server knows he has to instantiate a new machine so that the, the cache will always have 50 machines ready. When the user stops and, and logs off, it does just, just destroy the machine that was used and it, it, he knows he, he still has uh, 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 the 50 machines ready in the, in, the, in, the, in the Open Nebula infrastructure. This is customizable. You, you, you can say, you can say uh, how many machines you want. You can say um, they have to be ready uh, between uh, two o'clock and three o'clock, and, and then you, you don't have to, to, to keep them uh, alive uh, forever. So, so it, it's quite flexible, and it, it allows to, to manage automatically the, the, the storage and the, the, well, the, the power of the infrastructure. We also have uh, remote applications. Uh, this is available from the, the version two, I think, uh, of uh, UDS Enterprise. And from the version 2.2, these um, uh, remote applications are also available from a macOS uh, device. Um, the way of working is, is the same uh, as, as, as I showed uh, before, except that we have here uh, uh, remote desktop servers. <coughs> the, 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 the way of the connection uh, is made uh, is exactly the same. The, the only difference is that uh, if um, uh, 10 people need uh, this application, they will all connect to the same remote desktop server. They, they will not have uh, their own uh, virtual machines each, but they will all connect uh, in, uh, as a, uh, with the RDP connection uh, through HTML5 uh, on the same server. Okay, why, why and who, who did, did uh, who we are intend to, to, to give access to uh, this solution? First of all, uh, the, the students. That means that they can access uh, a standard environment, uh, whether it is a, a Linux or, or Windows, uh, from outside the classroom, the, the, the computer classroom. So they can work uh, from their device. They can work from uh, home uh, or uh, anywhere. Uh, the teachers also, uh, 
they, they are sure they have a, a, a clean environment to their uh, teaching, their lessons, and uh, they, um, they don't have to install uh, uh, some, some uh, software on their, on their own computer. So it's easier for them. They, are, they know they will have a standard environment. The researchers, um, some researchers have to be to, to have access to, to f uh, software a few times a, a year, and they don't want to to pay for the license and, and uh, install it on their on their computer, so they can have access to the the software uh, on demand and with probably a better uh, uh, calculation performance than than um, on their uh, on their own computer. And then uh, OS X and uh, Linux users can access uh, Windows applications such, like, such as uh, uh, SAP clients. We have, uh, we have a client in the, in the remote applications, SAP client in the remote applications that work on, on all the, the environments. And also for us, the, the IT, the IT uh, can, <coughs> can make some tests uh, without having to, to, to have a, a big infrastructure. Why? Uh, because it is easy. It's, it's easy to, to install, it's easy to access, and it is easy for us to, to manage the, the, the solution. And it's also, uh, um, it represents a, a lower cost for the IT and for the students. Before, the students had to, to buy the, 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 um, the software they, they, had to, they had to use for their uh, lessons, and now they don't have to, to buy it. They, they can use it uh, on, on the, the VMs they can access uh, from UDS. Okay, how we did um, the, the, the what, what was, where the, the phases in, in the project? We started uh, in 2016 with a testing phase. In uh, 2017, in September, and at the academic, uh, um, the beginning of the academic year, we started a small production phase with some uh, few lessons. Uh, we, we asked uh, teachers to, to use it and to, to try it to, to see if they, they were. Uh, uh, confident with, with the, the, the solution. And from September uh, of this year, we have opened the solution to uh, all our students, all our uh, staff members, uh, and we don't, we don't sell the, the, the software anymore. So they have, they have to go to, to, uh, to this solution if they want to use the, the softwares uh, for the lessons. Uh, and we are now uh, starting to uh, build a new uh, high availability infrastructure uh, to guarantee 24-7 uh, uh, access. Uh, next year, we are intend to, to start to replace the, the computer classrooms with small, small computers that will only have uh, uh, small windows uh, and they can, uh, they can only access uh, the, the UDS solutions. Um, okay, high availability. We, uh, the, the, only, the only thing, we, well, we wanted to, to use uh, uh, several servers to, to, uh, to be sure that uh, the, the, um, the, the power, uh, well, well the, the load average was not too high you know, on, on the servers, so we installed uh, high availability proxy, which uh, balances uh, the traffic to one of the servers. Uh, he knows w what server is the, the most available. And then when uh, the authentication is done, it uh, chooses again uh, what tunneler it will use. And then again, the, the, the connection uh, is the same. The only difference is that uh, everything is passing through this uh, proxy. So this proxy is also a, a point of failure, but we are intent uh, next year to, to uh, um, add an, another proxy to, to be sure uh, if one falls, the, the other will, will take the, the um, retake the connection. 
Okay. Uh, as, as a conclusion, uh, I, I wanted to, to give a few, a few metrics uh, of usage. As you can see, we, we have a growing uh, number of users. Uh, it's, it's closer to 2000 now. Um, it's, it's growing quite, quite quickly uh, at the moment. Uh, we are quite happy of the, of the, of the success it, uh, it does have in, in our uh, university. Thank you, and I would like to thank uh, uh, UDS Enterprise for inviting me to, this, to give this talk.